how you can go from being a very not a morning person to being a morning person, how I did it and how you can do it too in this video. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. And this video, all about sleep. If you can sleep well, you can live a good life. If you're not sleeping, you're not gonna be healthy. And that's unfortunate because not many people know how to sleep properly. Now this is something that I have many struggles with myself. But when I hit a struggle, I always think, how can I fix this? How can I make this better in my life? And I believe that I had the struggles with sleep so I could become better at sleeping and help people improve their sleep. And it's actually part of my online program, part of the one-to-one -one mentoring I do as well, is all about sleep, helping and improving your sleep, the best things to do, the right things to consume as well. So this video, I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step things that you can do today, right now, unless you've already done one of them because there's a thing not to do. If you've already done that, then start tomorrow. So the first one is blue light reduction. Now blue light is anything that is a screen. So my camera screen, laptop screen, phone screen, blue light comes from that. So the best thing you can do, and I do this at least half an hour, I aim for an hour, but I do at least half an hour, and completely reduce any blue light. Reason being is blue light takes out the melatonin. Melatonin is a sleep hormone and the thing that actually helps you fall asleep. Now, if you've got melatonin in your system, this is what makes you fall asleep. And think about it, if you've been scrolling through on your phone, on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever you're on, and then you just can't fall asleep, but you're tired. That's because you haven't got any melatonin actually producing, the melatonin hormone is actually producing you to, to be able to sleep. So alongside cutting out blue light, a great thing for you to do is add in red light. Now red light improves deep sleep. And if you're not having deep sleep, you're not actually repairing the body. You're not actually uh, repairing the muscles, repairing the tissues, repairing your mind. You're just resting. You're not properly resting though. You're just asleep, you're just there doing nothing but deep sleep is where you properly rest and that's where you actually get the rejuvenating sleep and I personally use a salt lamp salt lamp has got two great benefits one is red light and two you might like you're in a red light district but it's okay because you have good sleep doesn't matter and the second one is it gives out positive vibes that's literally what it does not not literally positive vibes but it takes out the negative energies in the air and releases positive positive. and that's why I have a salt lamp that's why I use a salt lamp and again, it's red light. There's also, there is a program on my computer which, which, I, which I use as well. And it's called F.LUX, it's a completely free software. And this is for the computer screen that it takes blue light out of the screen. Now, this is one of the, the, you can get the blue light blocker glasses as well. I don't have them, I probably will get some. But at the minute, that's what I use and it works perfectly fine. Even still, I only ever use the laptop to change a video if I'm listening to a motivational video or I'm listening to something that I wanna learn or listening to affirmations or a meditation or something like that. Um, that'll go on into the end of the video. So I always listen to that at the end of the day before I go to bed. I listen to motivational videos, educational videos, and then a meditation and then I go to bed. So I don't actually look at the screen other than I get all the stuff I need up, go to different windows, click it, pause, Next one, listen to that video, turn it off, go to sleep. And I reduce the amount of time I'm looking at it. Although, it's not actually too bad for you. I just I just like to not look at a screen as much as possible. If you can read a book, perfect. If you can do nothing, even more perfect. If you can meditate without music or you've got a little MP3 player or something like that. I know probably most people don't have an MP3 player, but if you do, then it will be very beneficial. So the third thing is no coffee or caffeine after 12 o'clock. Now try this, now I don't personally drink caffeine and I'm perfectly fine and I wake up at 5 o'clock, 5.30 every single morning and I don't have a problem. Caffeine is, it's a, it's a, you're essentially tricking the system to say, here's energy, here's energy and then you have a low. So caffeine isn't great for you but I understand and I completely agree with you if you want to have caffeine to wake you up in the morning, by all means do it. But have your last cup by latest 12 o'clock noon uh, afternoon because if you have it later than that caffeine stays in your system for seven hours can stay a bit longer but they say seven hours roughly so i would always give it a bit more just so that you're completely clear of it and also staying away from chocolate later in the evening a lot of sugar won't help you sleep so if you're eating big bars of chocolate or you're having I don't know, an apple crumble or loads of ice cream in the evenings it's going to help you struggle it's going to struggle to help you sleep 
So, reduce the amount of sugar, reduce the amount of caffeine later on in the day. Caffeine by 12, sugar, I'd say 5 or 6 o'clock, that's the greatest time to stop. And it's just healthy foods as well. So, you've got the what to cut out again, and what to put in. Oh, put in. So, three of the biggest things that I eat every single day. Okay, I don't eat one of them every single day. But, majority of the days I eat two of these, and sometimes eat three. So three of my, are my favourite, mangoes, which I usually have a smooth bar every day and I absolutely love mangoes and I always have mangoes in my smooth bar because I love mangoes. Why? Don't know, it tastes so good, Just ama they are just amazing. Mangoes are just, oh, muy bien. Avocados, I obviously have my avocado on toast every single morning without fail and I still love it and I'm still not bored of it, I don't know how but I absolutely love it. And, and the last one is cherries, now cherries are the most, um, melatonin producing food out of the three but the other three do help and I mean this is where I was doing studies on myself I would not have mangoes see how my day went wasn't too bad I'd not have avocados see how my day went again wasn't too great and when I have the mangoes and avocados I always sleep that much better so the one more thing that you can add in is more water filtered water uh, uh, filtered water especially because you're taking out all of the fluoride, all, all, the, all the stuff that you don't want to be drinking from filtered water. And I, I recommend filtered water out of all the water, but either way, water in general, clear out your system. You're hydrated. When you sleep, you lose water. You dehydrate yourself. That's why when you wake up, you you just feel a bit, You sometimes you feel you might have got a headache. A lot of the time it's dehydrated, and that is exactly what alcohol does. So I don't drink anymore, but when I used to drink, the alcohol would always dehydrate you. So if I would have a glass of water or a pint of water before I went to bed, I'd wake up feeling a little bit fresher than usual because I wasn't as dehydrated. And dehydration is the biggest thing in the mornings. So try not to dehydrate yourself. Try and stay hydrated and keep yourself hydrated. So make it a habit. Make it a habit. What time you sleep? Have a specific time you go to bed. Have a specific time you wake up. Now, are you really dedicated and do you really want to be a morning person? Now, I didn't at all. I hated it. I hated the thought of it. I literally hated the thought of it. I was like, seven o'clock's early enough for me. And anything before that is way too early. But now I'm waking up at five every morning because I want to. I forced myself to do it. Why? Because I got in the mindset of I, where I want to be in life, I know that I've got to be disciplined. If I can discipline myself to wake up at five when I've never been a morning person in my whole life, and I've only been a morning person since about a year so for 21 years of my life I've never been a morning person or maybe two years now so maybe 20 years of my life I've never been a morning person I hated it I couldn't do it whereas now I force myself to do it but now it's a habit I don't wake up and think oh I've got to go to the gym oh I've got to wake up at five I just wake up at five and go to the gym because it's a habit now a habit is something they say can take 30 to day, uh, days roughly 21 to 30 days to form more studies are coming out and it's looking more along the lines of 60 days, maybe even more. So what I recommend for you to do is just start small. Start waking up at a specific time. Don't have a morning routine yet. That's something that I'll bring out. I've done a morning routine video, but I'll bring out another morning routine because mine's always changing. And I'll bring out another morning routine video and I'll show you exactly what I do just so that you can have an idea. But don't start with morning routine. Start with waking up early. Start with one thing at a time. There's no, you can't, you can't start riding a unicycle while juggling, while, I don't know, spitting out sweets and catching them in your mouth or something stupid like that. Just start with the unicycle or start with the juggling, whatever it is, start small and then gradually you can build up together and put it into one big group. And it's like when you first drive a car, when you first drive a car, everything's there. You've got to check your mirrors, you've got to press the indicator, you've got to, you've got to put your foot on the clutch, then you've got to put it into first gear, then you've got to put your foot on the accelerator, and then slowly out, and then slowly, and there's just so much to do, but then it just becomes one system, and that's what I want it to be for you. So once you have a specific bedtime, you know what time you're waking up, your body becomes, it just adapts to it. We are creatures of, adapt, of adapting. We adapt very well even if you don't think you can. You can adapt quite well. And just think back to a time where you've adapted in other situations, and there's definitely situations where you have adapted. So, figure out a bedtime, figure out a time you wake up, and do this for 30 days straight. If you're really not dedicated enough and you don't want to be a morning person, then don't worry about it. Don't even think about it. And I don't know why I clicked on the video. But if you really do, you can go one month without going out with your friends and partying all night. 
If you can't do that, then you're never going to be able to discipline yourself. One month out of your life, that's perfectly fine, perfectly capable. And stick to it every single day, even on the weekends, even if you don't want to. You still get the same amount of sleep. You still get more sleep. You'll probably be more refreshed than when you go out. Well, you definitely will be more refreshed than when you go out. But the final one is meditation. Meditation is something that calms the mind completely. Have you ever done it when you've gone to bed and you've been sitting there and you're like, all right, close the eyes, close the eyes. And then you just start going about some stupid maths equation that you learned it like 10 years ago or something that someone said two weeks ago that made you think, oh, why did they say that? Oh, maybe they don't like me. and then you just start going off and off in your head and you just start going crazy in your head and you just can't you think of the stupidest things my one was I was always visualizing like oh, what if I win the lottery oh my god I know what I do I've, I've literally got it written down in my head and know exactly what I do so so when I win the lottery you're gonna see exactly the video of what I do with the money um, but the my, my the but the takeaway from meditation is it calms the mind, it stills the thoughts, it just holds them still, where everything's going, ooh, it just starts going, ooh, and lines all those chakras and gets you in line and makes you feel divine. <laughs> but meditation, again, I'll do another video on that, there's, there's too much to explain in this video, but there's some very, very, very simple steps that you can do now, today. If you have drunk your coffee, then I'm disappointed, disappointed, but you didn't know, so I'll, I'll let you off. But Keep spreading my love. I'm spreading my love to you. You're amazing. You're, you're awesome. Have an amazing day. Keep on smiling and keep spreading positivity.